Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. Right now I'm the Michel... No, I almost said the Michelada guy. No, I'm going to make a Bloody Maria. Now this consists of four ounces of the Triple S Michelada mix and one ounce of tequila. Um, one ounce of tequila is like one regular shot glass. So, <clears throat> so let's do this. I haven't had one of these in quite some time. Um, some of my older subscribers probably remember me doing this before in the past. Um, at that time, I probably had some different, I mean, I had some different tequila at that time, so I'm using a different tequila. Um, it's also a cheaper brand. Um, so, different, yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, I don't remember, I don't remember if I used, um, tajin on it or not. I'm going to do that for this. Um, so, all right, so let's do this. Uh, tri triple S Michelada mix is a, is a nice mix. Um, on the bigger bottles, <clears throat> I don't remember if they have these available or not. They might. Um, I'm sure uh, Juanito will tell me uh, whether or not they do. Um, but these are their um, little to-go's. Um, these are probably a little bit more popular. Um, so uh, on these bigger bottles, though, I don't... Oh, yeah, they do. I'll be. I didn't know that. On these little bottles, they have this. They have the same thing that you can make. Um, they have the little ingredients, or no, the directions to make um, <clears throat> the Bloody Marys, the Bloody Gins. Let's see. Whether you're having Michelada, Bloody Mary, Bloody Maria. The bloody gin is not on here. But if you want to make a bloody gin, it's about the same thing. One of these per one ounce of the liquor. So, or of, of the gin, see? So, um, <clears throat> that's easy to remember. They're all about the same, I think. These are all four ounce bottles. Um, and it looks like, except for the 12 ounce beer for the Michelada, um, one ounce is of the liquors. So, <clears throat> so there you go. Put this over here. Let me move this to the side so you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead. <clears throat> let's go ahead and get, let's get our, these limes have seen better days. Let's get this. Yeah, there's hardly the juice in these anymore. There's enough in that half to accomplish it. Okay. That's enough. It's not covered really, like really coated like I would for a Michelada. This being a different, like a drink. Um, I'm just going to do a light, <clears throat> just a light ring of it. Okay, so let's go ahead 
and let's put our tequila. This is uh, Puerto Vallarta. I think that's how you pronounce it. Good aromas coming up out of there. Yeah, I can always get the, the garlic, the onion, the the peppers, a little bit of the um, what is it? Like a fish, kind of a crustacean. Salty, tomatoey, pretty good. Okay, there it is. Shouldn't need to stir it because pouring the michelada mix in there should have mixed it up pretty well if, uh, just by doing that. But uh, there you go. What do you think? Don't have a garnish. Could use a could use a lime, but I think it looks good. Just like that too. My limes are older. They're not. They're not purty anymore showing signs of, of wear and age so it wouldn't be a good garnish so I'm just gonna skip that okay let's see what we got Ooh. wow that's pretty good Getting that mix of the tequila with the tomato. Um, the tahini on there goes good with it all. Um, you, you still get the flavors of the michelada mix, the, the garlic, the onion, the peppers, the, the, uh, the, the fishiness. Um, it has a light sweetness to it. Um, little vinegar. Very good. That makes a nice drink. You know, a little change up. You want to go from having beer to, to a liquor. And uh, have you just make it a mixed drink for, you know, casual parties or whatever. That's the way to go. Um, so, if you want to check out some of the Triple S Michelada Mix, you can go to, you can go to Brownsville, Texas and get it right from them. Excuse me. Or... You can go to www.triplesmichelada.com. Um, you can find them on Facebook. <clears throat> They'd be easy to find. But check them out. Good stuff. This family 
has been friends of mine. I've never met them, but I consider them friends. You know, uh, how do I put it? Professional friends? Company friends? I don't know. They're, they're nice people. Um, he sends me, you know, sends me these. He sent me, he sent me these to, to drink, um, for enjoyment, just because he appreciates me reviewing and showing their, their uh, mixes, um, once in a while. So, um, and I, I enjoy showing off their mixes because I, I, they're good. Um, and I appreciate that they sent me, they've sent me so many of these. So, so there you go. Contact them and uh, check them out for yourself. Okay, well, I'm going to end it there. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you, Juan, Juanito, <laughs> for sending me these. I appreciate it. And um, we will see you all on the next one.